there. So today I want to walk you through the different options in H5P. And first, uh, H5P is an open source uh, HTML uh, based uh, interactive content. And they provide all these different open source tools that you can use for your online course. Specifically, if you are using Thinkific uh, to uh, host your online courses, these are great tools and I'm going to walk you through the different options here and how you might uh, think about which options are great for your curriculum. So first, I'm just going to scroll down so you can see the different options and I'll also include a link uh, so that you can see this um, on your own. So. Uh, you'll see there's, a, there's an option for course presentation, interactive video, memory game, accordion, quiz, charts, and so many more. I'm not going to walk through each one because there's so many, but I want to just focus on one in particular that can really enhance your online course. While we all know video is great, this uh, option for interactive video really takes um, your video to the next level by allowing students to click on it. Uh, you can uh, give them little quizzes, you can just sort of um, get them to engage rather than just passively watch the video. So we're going to click on interactive video just so that you can see a little bit more how it works. And so you see the example that they, they provided here. If you click on the video, there's like different links that appear in this process. And uh, the great thing is that um, it's visual, it's interactive, and it's really fun. And it doesn't require a lot of work on your end. All you need to do is uh, when you're creating this is to provide the images provide the video and provide in the context such as questions, the multiple choice answers and labels and uh, captions to put this whole video together. And so you might ask, well, why is this really advan uh, advantageous for my course? Well, it's really just a different way of helping your students learn. You're really teaching them concepts, but allowing them to sort of take part in the process of learning by uh, making notes, by seeing uh, questions, and by seeing labels. So I would encourage you to try this and uh, leave me some questions about what uh, else that you could use uh, this interactive video for. And in my next series, I'll walk you through specifically how you can create an interactive video and embed it into your Thinkific online course.